Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and today I want to show you how to make the three essential tools that you'll need to operate a Cobb bread oven. Stay tuned. The three things I'm going to make today are a fire hook made out of fat bar steel, and my custom pecan handle, a pizza peel, or a bread peel in this case, to get your baked goods in and out of your oven, nice and tapered, and then the mop to, at least in the case of making bread, add a little moisture to the oven and clean the ash off the bottom of the oven because the bread's gonna cook right on top of that. The fire hook is actually gonna allow us to push the fire in and move it around and pull the fire out because we're gonna bring the fire out of the oven when we make bread. So I'm gonna use the materials that I bought and some that I found in my pile to make these three essential tools. With a measuring tape, I'm gonna get two quick measurements, one being the depth of my oven. I wanna make sure that my fire hook will reach all the way to the back. So that's about three feet to right here from the back of the oven. I also wanna measure the width of the door because I don't want my pizza peel, my bread peel, to be any wider than the door will accept. So it looks like nine inches there. So three feet deep and nine inches wide. Those are our parameters. For my pizza peel, I'm gonna use a piece of shelf wood and an old broomstick. For the fire hook, I'm gonna use a piece of flat bar steel and a pecan log. And for the mop, I'm gonna use a scrap of two by four and an old towel. The steel is the only thing I had to purchase. That and a couple of bolts and some washers. And this is actually one and a quarter inch wide and, and one eighth of an inch thick. And it's 48 inches long, four feet. So that ought to be just perfect for what I need. I don't need the full nine inches of width on the flat end of my fire hook. I'm only gonna do about six inches. That'll give me plenty of hook to pull and push the fire and not get in the way of the nine inch opening. So let's mark off six inches. pop it in the vise. The nice thing about this 1 8 inch weight of steel is I'm going to be able to bend it without heating it. I'm use my sledge to straighten out this bend just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna mark off 10 inches and then bend a 45 degree angle. So this will form the front edge of the hook. Then we'll come back and bend this to a 45 degree angle, clamp it back down again at about the center of the width. Then we're gonna bend it back straight. We'll go back straight to the handle. Now let's build the handle. I chose the pecan log just for the fun of it. I was mostly curious if I could turn this piece of limb into a simple handle. Not bad, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. The next morning I drilled through one piece of the pecan to mark the bent metal for drilling. Then stacked both pieces to drill matched holes. A couple of carriage bolts from the extras bin should do the trick. The impact wrench tightened up the nuts, and then I used my grinder to remove the extra thread.
The belt sander puts a round shape to the handle. A little fine hand sanding, and the fire hook is done. On to the peel. I rip to width on the table saw and then sketch out my pattern for the peel. I jigsaw one side and then flip the cutoff over to trace a match on the other. The peel requires a pretty thin taper. I lower the table saw blade to a quarter inch to remove material. I did this in both directions. This could be done with a skill saw as well, probably more safely. Then I remove the remainder with a chisel before going after it with a belt sander. Just a touch of smoothing on the flip side, and hand sand to finish. I prep the broom handle by cutting a thin wedge off one side. I misjudge the blade height and had to make a second pass. Three flat carriage bolts attach the handle to the peel. The extra thread is ground off these as well. I branded the peel with a bit of hot bolt, but not on purpose. And the peel is a wrap. On to the mop. The mop is the most rustic of the three tools. I rip the groove in a squared off scrap of 2x4.
and cleaned it up with a chisel. And by cleaned up, I'm being generous. And then I shape the handle with the belt sander. Cut the towel in half and then folded it into thirds, working that into the handle. At this point, I realized that I wanted more of the towel loose, so I shortened the groove into the handle, fit the towel back in, and secured it with a single screw, grinding off the exposed point. Well, there you have it, folks, the three essential tools that you'll need to operate your cob bread oven. This is a pretty straightforward project and a little bit intuitive, if you know me. You're not surprised by that. But if you like working with plans, I'm actually going to make the plans available. A downloadable PDF, you can get that on my website for $1.99. That helps me keep this channel going. Right now, this oven is hot. I don't know if you can see the heat coming off it. But my neighbor and I are about to do a live stream where we're going to bake some bread the first time this oven's getting used. I've got some sizable cracks to deal with. I'll do another video about how I repair that. So you can keep an eye on the channel uh, and watch for that coming soon. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new DIY video almost every Friday. That looks good. Time to bake some bread.